In this video, we'll look at the Sub-D extension. You can get it at the SketchUp Extension Warehouse. It turns your mesh into quads, which are four-sided polygons. What I like about it is that it curves rectangular items. Let's see how it works. Here I have four models that we'll click the Sub-D extension onto. They all have to be groups, and there can't be any nested groups inside them. So let's start with this one. I'll select it and click on the Sub-D tool. Here, I can increase the subdivisions. I can also decrease them. So I'll increase it a few times, and this is my new shape. So that was an easy way to get this ovoid shape from a cube. Let's see what Sub-D does to this shape. I downloaded this flashlight from the warehouse. Let's see how Sub-D curves it. Models that have a high polygon count will take a bit longer to do. But this didn't take real long, and look how nicely that worked on it. Let's see how Sub-D works on this bar stool. It also has a few other tools you can play with that crease and toggle custom push-pull. What I particularly like about this tool is that I can import STL files from other places like Thingiverse and use Sub-D on them. It's best if you import low-poly ones because high-poly files tend to freeze and just hang up in SketchUp. But if I find a low-poly file I like, I can make it a group and then use Sub-D on it. And that rounds it out easily and nicely, and this might make for a nicer 3D print.